it's obvious that trees are an essential part of our ecosystem. We've got to live within that, but we have to get that within balance. And that doesn't mean being frightened about planting trees. You're on Hilltop Farm, Karakalinga, and we're here doing some revegetation. The farm here is mainly a, a cattle operation on, on this side. Um, we've got a, over a thousand olive trees on the other side of the farm. It's pretty hilly, as you can see. It's had a lot of trees cut down. We're quite excited about putting some back. During the 2019-20 bushfires, the glossy black cockatoo lost around 60% of their feed tree habitat on Kangaroo Island. Here on the Flurio Peninsula, historically, there would have been thousands of hectares of sheer woodland habitat and only around 2% of that habitat is now currently remaining. What we're really excited about is bringing that habitat back to mainland South Australia and potentially bringing glossy black cockatoos back to the mainland at the same time. We're basically providing an insurance policy for the glossy black cockatoo population on Kangaroo Island. We're planting drooping she-oaks, which is the primary food source for the glossy black cockatoos. But as with all our projects, we try and include biodiverse mix of species as well. So we're planting 19,000 trees in three priority sites for the project. And so we've taken seed from drier parts of the state and then planted that seed in these areas here. So it's going to be adjusted for any potential climate. If we plant it, hopefully they'll come make little cockatoo babies and then spread out, multiply. The native trees that we're planting are gonna have benefits far beyond just the glossy black cockatoo. And hopefully in the next few years, these seedlings will attract a vast array of wildlife from tiny insects to birds, to potentially even digging bandicoots. I think if we saw glossy black cockatoos back here again, it'd be fantastic. I think every farmer should have a good look at his property, work out which areas would benefit from reveg, and just do it. Work with a company like Greening Australia and WWF and just get trees back in the ground. We've done so much damage already, it can only be good.